Chapter 2, 4 Oral Health Tips, in Caring for Your Teeth and Gums First, clean your teeth every day. If you do not clean your mouth properly, the food that is left on your teeth, can destroy the teeth, and hurt the gums. Bits of food stay longer in grooves, and hiding places. This is where both tooth and gum problems start. On biting surfaces of the back teeth, as commonly seen in children. Between the teeth, that is hard to reach by toothbrush alone. Therefore, flossing is also important. Near the gums, as commonly seen in adults. In choosing a toothbrush, dentists' consensus is to choose soft bristled toothbrushes, especially if you tend to push harder against your teeth. More pressure does not equal cleaner teeth, and in fact, can cause gum loss, which can contribute to tooth sensitivity. Brushing instructions. Whether you are using a manual or electric toothbrush, you should spend 30 seconds in each section of your mouth. For the outer surfaces, place the toothbrush at a 45 degree angle toward the gum line. Use gentle, short strokes, moving the brush back and forth in circular motion and flicking motion outward against the teeth and gums. Use this same motion to clean the inner tooth surfaces. To clean the inner front tooth surfaces, hold the brush upright and use gentle up and down strokes. Don't forget to brush the chewing surfaces of the teeth. Also give your tongue a brushing, it will help keep your breath fresh. When toothpaste is not readily available, you may use salt or baking soda, with a few drops of water, to make a paste, or simply just water, as a last alternative. Once done, rinse away the loose pieces of food. Flossing instructions. Take about 18 inches of floss, estimate measure from your fingers to the tip of your elbow, and loosely wrap most of it around each middle finger, leaving only 2 inches of floss in between. With your thumb and index fingers, gently slide it down between your teeth. Curve the floss around each tooth, and gently move it up and down the sides of each tooth. Second, eat only good healthy foods. Healthy balance is the key. As with good overall health, maintaining good dental health, means eating a variety of foods from each of the five major food groups, and drinking plenty of fluoridated water. Timing is important. A diet that promotes good oral health, is not just about the foods you eat or avoid, when and how you eat them is equally important. Third, use fluoride toothpaste. Fluoride will make the entire tooth structure, more resistant to decay. Fluoride use can also encourage repair and early decay, before it causes a cavity. Using fluoride toothpaste is an important way, to ensure that your teeth, are reaping the benefits of this dental-friendly mineral. Fluoride varnish or topical fluoride application, is a treatment done inside a dental clinic. These are recommended for infant and children, and can be done as early as when the first tooth appears. And lastly, visit the dentist at least twice a year. It is important for everyone, to visit the dentist at least twice a year, for tooth cleaning. At this appointment, the dentist will inspect your teeth and gums for infections, imperfections with jaw alignment, healthy tooth growth, and possible cavity formation. Knowing and following these four important tips, can help prevent more serious oral health problems. On the next chapter, we will be showing you, some common oral health problems, what you can do, and what the dentist will do.